Hello YouTube, this is Texo back from Texo channel and today I got a new video for you guys. So today Microsoft revealed Windows 11. Today they had an event uh, June 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So a great thing that came about uh, the event. Uh, actually, I was on the Twitter page, um, not Microsoft's Twitter page, but the Windows Insider page and they revealed that starting next week Windows insiders will be able to test out early builds of Windows 11 so the first build uh, will be coming next week and um, pretty much there's a tool that they provided that can um, be used to see if your PC is compatible to Windows 11 so as you guys can see here I have the blog post uh, that they attach to their um, Twitter post and you can see here that the dev channel is eligible for Windows 11 Insider uh, preview builds such as the um, beta channel and release preview channel uh, for existing and new users. So um, I believe starting next week you must be on the dev channel however, um, but like I said, you can read this on your own um, and you know, it's just really great information. Uh, very informative um, and the great thing about it is that they provided a tool here to check to see if your PC is compatible so it's called PC health check app and um, yeah you can run it to see if your PC is compatible however this video is to show you guys how to make your uh, PC compatible because if you notice here they say TPM is a requirement the trusted uh, platform module version 2.0 so running this tool a good bunch of users have noted that when they check now uh it says this pc can't run windows 11 even though mine says it can run i actually faced the same problem and i'm going to show you guys how to fix that so i have a uh intel core processor with the asrock uefi firmware setting so uh, I have an ASRock Fader 1 TYZ370 Gaming K6 motherboard to be uh, specific. And um, basically, I'm going to show you guys um, how to enable it, right? So first thing you want to do, though, is go to tmp.msc by using the run function. Oh, my fault. I put T. Uh, and P is tpm.msc and this screen shows up right tpm management on local computer however on your screen it will say um, it cannot find a compatible um, tpm module or something like that right and then it will also say verify that the system is installed or is turned on in the bias something to that effect so um, since I have it enabled if I go to device manager and I go to security devices, you can see it says trusted platform module 2.0. Um, so now what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is how to make this screen pop up. So now I'm going to show you guys how to go into your ASRock uh, BIOS settings and turn on the TPM to uh, make your PC compatible. So uh, I'll be right back to show you guys just that. All right, so I'm back now. So here you wanna just go into uh, Troubleshoot, um, Advanced Options, and UEFI Firmware Settings. So to get to this screen, basically what you have to do is hit Shift on your keyboard, hold it down, um, go to Power, Restart, and then once you see the Please Wait screen, you could release your finger, and then it will reboot to this screen. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and hit, uh, click on restart and it will restart into my bias settings. Now that I'm loaded into my bias, I'm going to go into advanced mode. I'm going to go to security and you can see here where it says Intel platform trust technology. It is on enabled on your end. Uh, just change it from disabled to enabled. And then um, that's pretty much it. Now for, uh, I would say for safeguarding purposes, if you can also enable secure boot, that would also be great. Um, since I don't know how to go into the user mode to actually do that, um, I left it on disabled since I've noticed when I ran the, uh, the, the app to check for compatibility, 
uh, it gave me the green check without having secure boot enabled. That means I'm good to go. But on your end, I would just uh, go ahead and enable it if you can. Um, so the link for the blog post with the tool to check for uh, the compatibility of your PC for Windows 11, I have linked in the description below, as well as another um, another link if you want to sign up for the newsletter regarding Windows 11 uh, news and updates uh, during the um, you know uh, testing phase. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. This has been Texo from Texo Channel, and I'm out.